Tonight, Chancellor Hawkins speaks on Trojan pride throughout homecoming week. Plus, the fair is in town. Stay tuned. Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News starts now. From the High Definition Digital Production Center on the Troy campus, with news from Troy University locations around the world, this is Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News for October 3rd, 2013. I'm Haley Greathouse. And I'm Courtney Addison. Thank you for joining us this evening. This weekend is Troy University's homecoming, a time when Trojan fans from all over return to campus to bask in a little Trojan spirit. Christina Cook takes a look at how some Trojans are showing off their Trojan pride in preparation for this year's big game. As homecoming week is coming to an end, many students are getting more into the Trojan spirit. And on Thursday, the SGA gave students the chance to spread their Trojan love. It's something new that we wanted to do this year. So kind of just like get everyone pumped up about homecoming, like giving out stickers that said spread the Trojan love. You know, just a, another day on campus with just like a little bit of Trojan mm to it. The excitement on campus, Chancellor Hawkins and some students express how they plan to spread their Trojan love. Just to be positive to everyone I see on campus, give them a smile, wave at them, you know. Let them all know that we are one part of this Trojan nation and all together. This is a family and people within a family care about each other and people within, within the Trojan family uh, in many ways demonstrate their love on a daily basis. And so to the whole Trojan family out there I say thank you, thank you for loving this place, for being loyal to this place. And I hope I'll get to see all of you uh, during the homecoming festivities. Go Trojans. Everyone give them awesome compliments and just be like, go Troy. Go out in the community and help the people of Troy. Or just do something as simple as helping the faculty out of Troy. And in addition to some Troy students sharing their Trojan love across campus, some students also express who their favorite superheroes are. And as for me, my favorite superhero will always be my mom. A hero to me is someone that makes someone else's life just a little bit better. Superhero is Batman. I like him, but my life has been influential to me is my mother. My grandmother. Uh, my grandma's, my gra both of my grandmas are one of, both of my heroes. Uh, Mr. Lon Wise, who was of uh, the greatest generation, is Tom Brokaw. And so uh, when I think about heroes, I think about those people who did, uh, perhaps even ordinary people, who did extraordinary things. Christina. The homecoming matchup between Troy and South Alabama is set for Saturday at noon in Veterans Memorial Stadium. Tonight, the competition for Most Spirited Student Organization continues with the annual homecoming skit night competition. Troy's fraternities and sororities and independent organizations will all display their acting talent by putting on skits related to this year's homecoming theme, Troy Saves the Day, A Hero's Homecoming. Skit night is part of a series of competitions the organizations participate in throughout the week. The winners will be announced during the homecoming game on Saturday. Skit night starts tonight at 7 in Claudia Crosby Theater. Students must have a wristband to enter. And it isn't just students who are having all the fun in this week um, for homecoming. Yesterday, the faculty and staff got in on the competitive fun with the annual Homecoming Spirit Day competition. Offices across campus went head to to see which one had the most Trojan spirit. The offices competed in three categories. They could decorate just a door, expand to a bulletin board or hallway entrance, or go as far as de to decorate the entire office. Winners receive a special treat for their office workers courtesy of alumni affairs. The winners were in Category 1, Marketing and Communications, in, in, and in Category 2, Accounts Payable and Global Campus Finance, and in Category 3, the Center for Student Success. Well, Haley, um, earlier this week I had a chance to head out to the fairgrounds and I really saw some stuff that really intrigued me. Yes, Courtney, I actually had the chance to go to the fair last night, and there are many things that are interesting, like many attractions that are interesting at this year's county fair. The fair has come to town bringing along with it the traditional rides, food, and games, but everyone has their own reasons for going to the fair. I come to the fair to watch my great-granddaughter do these rides. We, ha we hadn't been 15, 20 years, so I decided it's time to come. Girl! And rides. The grandkids, they don't get to do this but once a year, so they look forward to it. I just wanted to come and hang out with my friends. Uh, we just wanted to come and see how fun it'd be. I actually had a friend invite me. I wasn't supposed to come, but uh, I came mostly for the rides. 
And what rides were the top attractions of the night? Wacky Worm, the Ferris Wheel, and the Frog. Ladybug! Touchdown! The Yo-Yo and the Touchdown. Um, I really like the twirl a whirl and the Touchdown. Fairgoers often see the same rides year after year, but this year a new ride has been introduced to the Pike County area and it's generating a lot of hype. Well, that Fireball is one for sure. The Fireball. The Fireball. So far, the Fireball's been the best one. This year, the Pike County Fair is featuring a circus act that performs twice a night. One of the performers is seven-year-old Cheyenne Chuck, who shares with us her favorite trick. Um, I like to do the two arms. You like to do the two arms? Is that your favorite trick? Yes. How long did you practice for today? Like, two, two days. So whether you're an adrenaline junkie who loves the rides, or someone who just wants to sit back and watch the circus, there's something for everyone at this year's Pike County Fair. Pike County Fair will last through Saturday at the Pike County Fair grounds. And now I'm taking a look at news from around the state. In Double Springs, a sheriff says four bodies discovered in a car on a county road were adults who were not found from his county. Winston County Sheriff Rick Harris tells the Associated Press that the gunshot wounds were found, though he, though the, he says the cause of their death was not yet known. And in Montgomery, Governor Robert Bentley is raising more than $1,200 in campaign donations for every dollar received by the Republican primary opponent. Bentley doesn't have a Democratic opponent so far in his campaign for a second term. And also in Montgomery, businesses can now file their tax returns and pay their city, county, and state sales tax at one electronic location rather than filing multiple tax reports. State Revenue Commissioner Julie Maggie says Alabama started its one-spot system in response to businesses complaining that it was hard to do in the business in this state. Still to come on Trojan Vision Nightly News, the Trojan football team is using some self-motivation to help them against South Alabama. Mitchell Spoon will explain more in sports. Now Mitchell Spoon joins us with sports. So Mitchell, I know everyone is really hyped up for the homecoming game on Saturday, but there's also a lot of other Trojan athletics going on this weekend. That's right. The Trojan volleyball team actually has a home game tomorrow against Louisiana Lafayette. But I'll get more on that right now in sports. With only two days away from kickoff against South Alabama, the Troy football team seems to have all the motivation they need in order to push themselves to a win. After a tough, after a tough three-week road trip, the Trojans are looking to snap a three-game losing streak and are glad to be back in the confines of Veterans Memorial Stadium. South Alabama may be looking to get some revenge after last year's loss at home in which the Trojans came into Mobile and won 31-10. After the loss to Duke, the Trojans held a team meeting and spoke about how they needed to turn things around. They were going to meet the objectives that were made prior to the season. Everybody's on the same page at least. Um, all the guys, their minds are, you know, in the right place. It's just win. If not for you, if not for your teammates, if not for coach, you know, I mean, do it for something. You know, just do it for the people that, that came before us, that put in all the hard work, that, that got the championships or the cover championships before us, you know. Think about that, you know. Um, um, because, you know, we're representing them too, not as ourselves too at school. We're representing everybody that, that attended Troy University. The Trojans kick off against the Jaguars at noon on Saturday. And in other football news, senior kicker Will Scott has been named a National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Award candidate and a semifinalist semi for the William V. Campbell Trophy, which recognizes the top scholar athlete in the nation. And the Troy volleyball team came out on the winning end against South Alabama after three extremely tight sets last night in Mobile. In a series that is always close, Troy picked up his third sweep in 17 matches between the two schools since the Trojans joined the Sun Belt in 2005. Troy is now 21-17 against the Jaguars since moving to Division I and improved his road record to an even 9-9. The Trojans also picked up the first conference win before heading into a stretch of four straight matches at home that begins Friday with a visit from Louisiana Lafayette. Maria Zelenovich led the Trojans with 11 kills, while Alexandra Alexander posted her 10th double-double of the year with 34 assists and 10 digs. Corny Cohen added to a record-breaking season with a match-high 12 digs as well. And this weekend, the Trojans will host a pair of Sun Belt matches at Trojan Arena. It, it's always fun to play at home. Uh, the fact that you know we get to play in, in the, the arena is, is phenomenal. And, and the fact that we have a lot of people coming back this weekend, it, it gives us a little bit of extra incentive to, to work hard this week to be prepared for Friday and Sunday and uh, to put our best foot forward to, to defend our home floor. Um, 
and it's important that we do that with the fact we're hosting the championships here and uh, to try to get a bunch of people back to support us. Since moving to Division One in 1993, the Trojans are seven and five against the Raging Cajuns, including a four and one record at home. But against the Trojans of Arkansas Little Rock, Troy is just two and six, including a one and three home record. Head coach Sergeant Kirkpatrick knows that playing at home is vital to winning more games. Friday's match is set to begin at 7 p.m., while Sundays will start at noon. And the Troy soccer team got its match on the way earlier today against the Arkansas State Red Wolves at the Troy Soccer Complex. Looking to rebound after a disappointing loss to the Texas State Bobcats on Sunday to start Sunbelt play, the Trojans are seeking their first win in the conference, and they got it, beating Arkansas State 1-0. But this isn't the only match the team will be playing this weekend. On Sunday, the Trojans will begin a three-game road trip, with the first stop being in Arkansas against the UALR Trojans. Head coach Chris Bentley knows how important it is to win games on the road. I think you got to get used to traveling on the road and these weird split weekends. I think those are going to be important too. Traveling and then getting out and playing the next day is going to be an important thing for us to stay competitive in the conference. Um, Arkansas Little Rock is a good team. They're competing well and we're going to have to be ready for them as well. The match against the Arkansas Little, Star Little Rock Trojans will begin at 1 p.m. So, Courtney Haley, hopefully the Trojans can get back to improving their record to 3-3 three and, three and get to .500 on the season. And congratulations to the uh, soccer team for beating Arkansas State just a few minutes ago. Exactly. Congratulations um, to those players and also good luck to all of the Trojans that are playing this weekend. Indeed. Thanks, Mitchell. Thank you.